morning. Well, oh, where am I looking? Sorry. Into the lens. <laughs> Good morning, and it. Uh, <laughs> Did you figure out how to speak English? Take three. Good morning and welcome to Saturday the 18th of April. It's my birthday eve! Yay! And as, if you can hear munching, it's because there are two people having lunch behind the camera. We've had a bit of a lazy but busy morning. We haven't had to do anything or get stuck into school routines today. Lilia um, was very lucky, but we let her get up in the middle of the night to watch a BTS something or other that we don't really understand. So she bang, got up bang, at call. four. And then at some point went back to sleep again. She can't remember when. And then eventually got up at midday. <laughs> so she's having a brunch type lunch. Anyway, the post has been, and I got a parcel from my friend Charlotte. And I'm not sure what she sent me or why. I'm assuming it's something birthday related and it's very squidgy. So I'm going to open it. You know what? I bet you anything that's yarn. You think it's yarn? Yeah, it's not yarn. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to put it together and then I'll cut it in to show you. <laughs> Keep calm and crochet on. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> you should see their faces. But I love it. So what I'm doing here is I've been having a bit of a clear around this morning in the kitchen and doing a good old tidy and a bit of a deep clean and sort out so that tomorrow when it's my birthday I don't look around and keep thinking of all the things I want to be doing. And I've had some jewellery, um, the girls have both got a BTS necklace here that needs um, fixing and Lilia's got this Harry Potter bracelet so I'm going to fix these for them it's just a case of fixing the little jump rings for them or maybe replacing them and then i had this necklace which um was a birthday present a 16th birthday present there it is it was a 16th birthday present from my dad and it had a knot in the chain so i've just been unknotting it with a pin and i've finally done it so now it just needs a bit of a clean and i can wear it again We're at my mum's. We are Blend. sat about four metres away having dropped off all her shopping. You, We've had our hot chocolate and we sat and had a hot chocolate and mum sat and had a cup of tea. Say hello mum. Hello. <laughs> this one is her, her daughter who loves the mess on She's got Hello, it is now about five o'clock. Um, Lydia's having a shower and Phoebe is FaceTiming her best friend and they're having a lovely time. They're doing makeup. <laughs> they're sat on their respective bedroom floors with each other propped up on their respective iPads and they're doing makeup things with each other. So cute. Um, I have just been tidying and cleaning our bedroom so that when I wake up on my birthday, I don't have to think about it. I just, I won't be looking around going, oh, that's a bit dusty. So it's all nice and clean. I was just going to sort out. So at the moment, I'm saving up to, or we are saving up to um, have a garden studio put in at the bottom of our garden. Nothing fancy, nothing huge, just something very small. Dan works from home rather a lot. I um, sometimes 
work from home we're both working from home all the time at the moment and um, I would also like some kind of studio for my craft stuff for my podcast stuff um, and just to get all the yarn and all my crafty stuff in one place because at the moment it's scattered in various locations throughout the house now just before the lockdown we were planning on remodeling or redecorating our bedroom it's the only room in the house that we haven't touched since we moved in uh, and it's in desperate need of it so one of the things we were going to do was organize the wardrobes and the storage and shelving and things and then get it completely decorated and it was going to be brilliant obviously that's all been postponed <laughs> put on hold for a while so where i'm sitting in front this is my bedside table um so you can see here i've got my books that i read at night that's all the light you cannot see i've spoken about that a few times before and a few other books that i read with phoebe and other books that i dip in and out of as well um and then here is my chest of drawers and all the things on here will really in the future either be on shelves that are going to go on this wall here or they will be in my craft studio so i was about to just organize it a bit have a look at what's been gathering and move things around a bit so it looks just a little bit nicer and i thought i'd show you what i'm going to do okay i think i've finally got this in shot it took me a little while to get it all set up but i think it's there now so this is my basket that i want to just sort out uh, it's become a bit of a place where i throw things before they end up where they're going to eventually live so on right on the top of it i've got this um lovely little bee pouch it's so gorgeous um and i'm keeping it here until i decide exactly what i'm going to use it for i've got a few ideas but for now i'm happy just looking at it it was a gift from Michelle, who is um, Oh So Pretty X, um, and she sells things on Etsy. I'm not sure if she's selling things at the moment, um, but it's worth going to check out her shop. She makes gorgeous things. This was a present at the end of last year, and she sent two little Christmas pouches for my girls as well. Uh, and they still use those. They kept their Christmas chocolate in them, and now they're keeping their Easter chocolate in them. And she also sent me this little, um, oh, I forget what it's called. Is it Shashkio? embroidered pouch and it's full of these little um reusable makeup wipes now i've been using these a lot so these are the ones she made which i haven't used yet they're just toweling on one side and they've got this waffle stuff on the other side i use this side and these are the ones that have been used so i've been using them tons and every time i use them i just throw them in the washing machine and I've used these two a lot. So you can see they're getting a bit worn, but there's still plenty of life left in them. And um, the good thing is they're reusable, which are much better than my biodegradable wipes because they just get used over and over again and they look absolutely beautiful in my bedside drawer. <laughs> uh, so that I think is going to stay there for now because I just like looking at it okay this is yarn that I dyed with Phoebe I was going to make her hat with this and or a cow and I will still do that it's just finding the pattern and the time and she might change her mind about what she wants but it is pretty and it's sparkly and I like looking at it so that's going to stay in the basket as well um I've ordered <laughs> so I was midway through recording and my husband came in and said, oh, Chris is outside. That's our friend who's an um, ICU nurse. And she was going past. So we went out and stood in our driveway to talk to her. And then a couple of other neighbours came past on their bikes. And they stopped on the another piece of road opposite. And we talked to them as well. So I've been outside for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> so I've got to remember where I was and start again. So here we go. I think I was about to talk about this. Now I ordered this uh, and I thought it was a lot thinner. I was going to wrap a polystyrene um, wreath uh, mould with it to start a project that I had in mind, but it was a lot thicker than I had intended. Um, I could probably still use it for that purpose, to be honest. So I just balled it up for use in a future project. So I'm going to put that in the box that I have, that I have of things that are going to ultimately end up in my craft studio. So things that are going to definitely get used, but probably won't get used for a while. They're going to go in my craft studio box and that's where that's going to go. This is some yarn I dyed and I intend to make a hat with this. This is going to stay in the basket because it's nice yarn. I like looking at yarn and uh, yeah, it's going to stay put. Whoops. They just bashed the uh, tripod there. This is my lovely soap for my friend Gaynor. I'm going to go and add this to my soap stash in the bathroom. It's just so pretty, I never want to use it. <laughs> I just want to look at it. 
but still it's going to be better in the bathroom than in a basket in the bedroom this little yarn pod i bought at um the southern wool show last year is from the treadling woman um and it was a, only about five pounds i absolutely love love it it's a little yarn bowl so you can put your yarn in there whilst you're knitting so really i should have this downstairs to use so i'm actually going to move it i've also got a guiding badge and a few other random bits in here so i'm going to find proper homes for oh look there's a little bit of that i can tell you that is seagull by biff sugar yarns and i'm going to put that in my not so ugly ugly blanket getting deeper into the basket now this is a little french meadow yarn tag for lemon drizzle and i know exactly where that yarn is uh, and i know exactly what i'm going to be doing with the yarn so i'm going to put that with the yarn this is a bracelet that phoebe made me out of this foam stuff that goes hard uh, this is a lovely little lavender pouch with lobsters on it so i'm going to keep that in the basket i bought this when i got my sock blockers it's a miniature um keyring sock blocker and i had an idea that i was going to make mini socks to make as a little decoration but i never got round to it um but that's definitely going to be up as a little decoration in my craft studio so i think that's going to go in my craft studio box this is a little gift i think this was from jane viewer of this podcast a little while ago and i want to hang it up in my craft studio there we go it's in focus now i want to hang this up in my craft studio so that's going to go in my craft studio box as well. I'm really looking forward to having a dedicated crafty space where I can have all of these things out everywhere. This is definitely staying out. This is a present for my lovely friend Charlotte. There you go. Uh, Charlotte is the one who sent me the cushion that you saw me opening earlier. We've been friends for a long, long time. She's a very special person in my life. She sent me this years and years and years ago. And that... I've always got it not very far away. Oh my goodness, I'd forgotten about these. This is a present um, from Lisa, who is the woolly ferret. There's her thing. She donated a prize for the Strictly Sock Along a couple of years ago. And she also sent some little bits for me. And, and she included these amazing tags. I think they're from Faye of Knit It, Hook It, Craft It. Oh, hang on. She's changed her business name. She might be now... Oh, can't remember. It was something like the, um, oh, I'll, I'll have to look it up and put it on the screen. But they're little tags that you can put on handmade items if you're making handmade items as a gift. They're really funny. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to use these. So I'm going to put these in my box of things that I have for when I send out gifts or in my studio box. I'm not sure, but they'll be better off in one of those two places than hidden in this basket. Oh, this is taking a while. This is a glittery pom-pom, which we made when Phoebe was tiny and it was in a jar and it was um, to do with the BFG. I can't remember what it's called now, but he catches dreams and puts them in drawers and that's what this is. So that's going as a decoration in my craft studio. These are my mitten blockers. So they're going to stay put. Not that I really ever use mitten blockers. This is a donut that my mum made for me years and years ago. This is before I knitted and she made me this. I remember thinking how terribly clever it was because um, I couldn't knit for toffee. That's definitely going to be a decoration in my craft studio. I'm going to have the world's best decorated craft studio, aren't I? This is a gorgeous little handmade heart. I can't remember it's a lavender heart i can't remember who gave me this i'll have it written down somewhere i think that's going to stay in the basket because it's stuffed full of lavender so it smells gorgeous and it will look after my yarn i've got a little thing here that phoebe did i'm going to put this in her memories box what else have we got in here oh another tiny scrap of yarn for my um ugly blanket that is a yarn tag for some yarn that I absolutely loved. I was probably keeping that to remind myself of the colour, but to be honest, it's on my Ravelry page. And this, oh, this was on my um, mitten blockers. It's the tag. Um, so I probably don't really need that. But the yarn's really, uh, the yarn, the the um, Liberty 
scrap of fabric is really cute. So I might tie that on something. I could tie it to the edge of the basket actually, couldn't I? <laughs> there, pretty. That's just out of shot, but I've tied it to the, the handle. And now here are some bits that were from a lovely viewer of this podcast called Carla. Hi Carla. <laughs> and she sent me these ages ago and they're all little um, paper crafting bits and there's some bits here to make stitch markers with and there's the, these gorgeous stickers and they, look, look at the little, can you see the little sweater tag and everything and I wrap them up thinking right when I've got a bit more time I'm going to do things with these but I'm going to get them out now and I'm going to do something with these tomorrow because that's my birthday and that's when I've got a bit of time. I've got this gorgeous little notebook for things so I'm going to start using that. I'm going to put that in a project bag to keep notes. I've got these gorgeous little postcards um, and all kinds of little bits that she's sent me in this parcel. And I've just kept it all together um, with a note about who it was from and I've got some stickers here that are for the girls. And I've actually kept them to one side because I was going to put them in their bath, their travel um, bags for when we went to Scotland. But obviously that didn't happen. And I've got these gorgeous stickers. Oh, they are so cute. So many uses I can think of for these. I just love them. It's like it's, That's like a Downton Abbey cat. Look at those. I need to get myself one of those travel notebooks. Oh, I just love these so much. I love it when you wrap stuff up and then you come to find them again. Oh, just love them. So I'm going to put these somewhere a bit more obvious than at the bottom of this basket. I'm going to have fun making decisions about those tomorrow. doing it. In our house we have the tradition of the mummy's head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> birthday Eve book and you can't see them but my family have all just come in to present me with my birthday Eve book but Phoebe wants to film. So do you want to film yourself as well Phoebe to show you all here? Remember how to flip the, sc you flip yeah. the screen up and turn it round. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> right, let's get back to Bobby. Can I open it now? Yes! So this is my birthday Eve book. So excited! Keep Mummy's head in the shop. Am I in? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I really wanted this! I saw my friend Sarah, who's Yarn Mugs, talk about this on her podcast. Ooh. It's Floella Benjamin coming to England. Now, anyone outside the UK probably won't know who Floella Benjamin is, and probably the kids don't either. But she was a children's television presenter when I was little. Do you remember, you remember Floella Benjamin? Yeah, play you? school. Yeah. So this is... So, so I read the blurb. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, first published more than 20 years ago and as resonant now as it was then, Floella Benjamin's story of her journey from one way of life in Trinidad to another in London is a brilliant memoir that also speaks to universal experiences of children coming to the UK. Benjamin's upbeat personality infuses the story and gives hope without diminishing the challenge of assimilation. And then it also says, Floella Benjamin was just a young girl when she and her siblings arrived in England in 1960 to join their parents. They had left the island paradise of Trinidad to make a new home in London, joining a generation of West Indians who were encouraged to move to Britain to help rebuild the country after the Second World War. But England was not at all what they expected. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Thank you everyone who remembered that I had mentioned that. Yeah, so it was basically when you were watching it, you were talking that you wanted it, and I went... <laughs> I just went and told him straight away. Thank you. Your makeup looks very nice. Thank you. She's been doing makeup with her friend on FaceTime. 